Hello, Dave from the Fettlers here today, who's got an itchy eye, as you can see. Um, we're doing a bit of a product review. I bought these over mittens. They're uh, allegedly ex-German army. They're meant to be waterproof as well, and, and uh, they're meant to be very warm. Unfortunately, these are the largest you can get. If I'm wearing my gloves, which are pretty thin, with a bit of armour in them, I can't get these on. So I'm going to have to wear them without gloves which i don't really like to do i know they're a glove but protective glove i mean also for regular viewers you might notice sometimes our recording's not very good we're also using a full aim x5 microphones that we've purchased as you can see i'm wearing one on my little shirt here as well so we're going to see how that goes and we'll do a little bit of a review later on but for now we're going to take a, take uh, the bike up the road and uh, try these over mittens It's bitterly cold today. I have been riding about with my other gloves on, so it's a good comparison today. And already, I've only had these gloves on for five minutes and they feel really warm. As I said earlier, the only trouble is you cannot get, you cannot get any gl gloves inside. I like a little bit of uh, protection with my gloves on my hands and uh, obviously this has got no, these um, mittens have none, no protection whatsoever. Uh, the controls are easily used, indicator, horn, the starter button because they're quite chunky anyway. So you've got full use of your thumb and let's face it, you're only using your thumbs for the controls. Um, the clutch and brake is, is fine. Uh, yeah, I mean they feel good. They're meant to be 100% waterproof as well, but um, that remains to be seen. I hope you can hear it. It's blimmin' windy as well as being very cold. I'm going to go out and do about half an hour ride, so we know that they're warm, but uh, obviously we ain't going to we're not going to show you the whole film. Come on, Mr. Lerner. There you go. Oh, it's a Miss Lerner. Anyway, the gloves, yeah, they feel comfortable. The mittens, let's call them mittens, not gloves. They feel comfortable once you just sat on there. It's my fingers, really, that get cold. My friend's got heated grips. He said, why don't you get heated grips? But it's only doing that inside of your hand, isn't it? And I didn't really want to fit them to tell you the truth. These gloves were £22 off of um, Amazon, I think it was. The gloves look well stitched up. Advertised as leather, that patch there, the grey patch, as you can see. But, uh, and it's Gore-Tex outer. It's got a little bit of fur lining, which I must admit, feels really nice and warm. I think we'll put a link up, we'll be putting a link up to uh, where we got them from, if anybody's interested. But I would uh, get the biggest ones you can. If you've got small hands, still go a size bigger. If you're like me and you want to wear a glove underneath, you might want to go two sizes bigger. So, in conclusion, uh, I really like them. They are a bit small, um, and they were the largest ones available. I can't believe that, really, because my hands are not that big. Would you say I've got big hands, cameraman? Uh, yes, I would. <laughs> but it's, you know, I c it is a little bit tight in there, but they are really snug and warm. You've got this, I don't know if that's real leather on there or what, but it's, uh, they feel great. Uh, you ain't going to wear them every day. Well, I won't be wearing them every day. And they do exactly what they're meant to keep your hands warm but a little bit small but yeah for 22 pound i think you can get them on ebay and amazon so um 
there you go thanks for watching